What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Ball Carter video. Today we're opening up uh, Top Series 1 hanger boxes. Looking for those yellow parallels. Um, it's kind of like what I'm kind of noticing everybody else right now as we're looking for stuff to open. There's not a lot of not a lot of new baseball uh, series coming out right now. So Series 1 it is. Um, I do know it's going to start picking up once Bowman comes out here in May, but uh, no, I... I kind of looked around like did I want to open up some 2023 again I didn't really want to go back in time I kind of like uh, the rookie class in series one here I'm like let's let's try the hanger boxes thought about the blasters but the hangers had the best deal I think I got these for about like 11 or 12 bucks on card giants um, couldn't get as many as I wanted because they were kind of running low but I was able to get eight I'm gonna do two videos of four here um, it's official we are looking for my first Jason Dominguez poll. Uh, if you haven't seen the other videos, I opened up 20 Fanatics boxes and didn't hit one Jason Dominguez. <laughs> Not a base, nothing. I, didn't, I hit a, I hit an insert of them. Uh, I forget what the insert's called. Like Greatest Hits or something about the hits. But uh, that's it. So I am looking for Jason Dominguez. Um, also, we are looking for... Uh, our 100th subscriber right now we're at 95 so if you like the content please like and subscribe help us get to 100 um yeah it's exciting we're already getting up to 100 uh got a lot of people commenting uh last couple weeks on series one which is a lot of fun um is series one the most valuable set to open no but i don't think you really do it for fun i mean you don't do it for money you do it for fun uh, it's not really about the value because you're not going to get your money back through Series 1. But I actually really like this this series. I think it's a lot of, a lot of fun, a lot of different things to search for. Um, I did find out people are saying those uh, first card off the line that they kind of messed up on. If you actually get one, they're flipped in the middle. So you'll actually know when you get it. So a lot of people are always search around all their base see if they can find one but i think it's with the regular inserts and number cards but all right we're gonna be looking for jason dominguez so i'm gonna kind of flip through here pretty fast but know that i am looking for jason dominguez <laughs> i mean it'd be nice to pull uh I like that card by the way be nice to pull a uh, pull a uh, ellie here too but there oh there you go yes First, Jason Dominguez pulled <laughs> out of a lot of openings, too. So I'm going to go ahead, put him on the stand. That's my first one. Um, I'm hoping to get multiple because we, we do everything we open here through Ball Carter. Uh, we sell it on eBay. Um, but I want to get multiple so I can maybe keep one for uh, my own collection. I'm going to be looking for some... Uh, some parallels of him too here in the future. Oh, we have a home field advantage card. Yes. This is off to a good start. I'm feeling good, guys. We got basketball going on. Okay, hopefully I didn't give it away. All right, we got a numbered card, a Matt Olson. Nope, not numbered. So Rainbow Foil. And then we have Yes, there we go. Mike Trout. Ooh, this is a yellow. Sorry. Going back to this first. Yellow Matt Olson. Those are not numbered, but uh, that's uh, the foil, yellow foil, I think. So that's a good one. And then we got, wow. These are much better. These home field advantage cards this year, just the designs are better. Everything pops a little better. Like the foil through the bridge kind of pops really good. Makes it look really cool. Um, wow, big hit. Big hit right there. We're off to a great start. Hit my first D Dominguez. Oh, I'm going to sleeve this one too. This is a rare hit. We got a nice yellow foil. Those are uh, pretty sure hanger exclusive, right? I mean, I haven't really focused too much on the hangers, but I think that's it. And then we got our yellow parallels. Tyler Sarstrom. That's a good one. And an Ellie. Wow. What a box. What sucks is that the next three are probably all going to be uh, not as good. You never know. Maybe they will be. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to sleeve this one. Uh, it's a little more of a rare insert. LA Day the Cruise. Not really rare, but more rare. Um, I did find out from my Fanatics 
boxes that I was able to put together three sets of the Stars MLB. I'm going to put together the full sets, Series 1, Series 2, and Update. Um, all right. I don't think we're really looking for anything else. Maybe get, like, the Corbin. Maybe we can pull an Ellie out of here. All right, wow. What a box. Man, only thing better than that, probably if we could have pulled an Ellie. But, I mean, I, I'll i tell you guys, the home field advantages, they, they did a lot better. Because I, I hit a Jazz Chisholm last year, and, you know, it's they're cool, but, uh, I don't know. They're not near as cool as they are now with this design. So, all right, box number two. I got to admit, too, guys, I have barely ever opened hanger boxes before. Um, usually, okay, that didn't work. Usually I'm more of a blasters. Um, blasters usually have exclusives and stuff like that, but uh, now we're uh, putting the, the yellow parallels in the hangers, and that's definitely going to attract some stuff for me. So, all right. Box number two. Can we hit... I feel like this is the same collation I said like Kodai Senga there. That means we have a Dominguez coming up. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I feel like the collations are usually the same, but no, nope, never, never, maybe not. Okay, we have Zach Giloff. Giloff. Never learned how to pronounce that. I probably never will. Um, shoot, the Kodai Senga. Okay, that's a cool card. Definitely like that, Ellie. Um, I kind of saw online too, you can, on eBay, you can get the gold, uh, golden mirror of this card for like 200 bucks, which if you're an LA fan, that's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. All right, we got a blue, Bailey Ober. We got a Ride the Green Future Stars, that's not bad. Luis Campesino, and Nolan Sch well, I don't know. And a sunny gray. Actually, don't mind this future star rainbow foil here at Ride the Green. That's a pretty good one. I've hit a Volpe of that. Rainbow foils look really good with the future stars because it's a rainbow foil with a rainbow kind of design. All right. Anything interesting here? I like these. I wish I could collect the whole set of that. So that's a good one. All right. Looking for maybe an Ellie base. Ellie or Dominguez. Those are the two, in my opinion, the best best base rookies you can look for, get some value out of. But I'm a Yankee fan, so I definitely collect Dominguez. Which is sad that I've barely hit any of his cards. I don't know, does he have an auto in this set? That'd be awesome. I would never hit it, but... Also it reminds me of 2020 Bowman. I opened up a ton of blasters and I never hit his Chrome, his first Bowman Chrome, um, which was sad. I had a friend open up one box, one box and he hit it. Okay, this is, these are hard to open. I guess I have a lack of experience with this. Don't wanna injure any of the cards here. There we go. Okay. But yeah, so 2020 Bowman, I couldn't hit any Jason Mingus cards. Like, I hit a few of his papers, but could not hit. I feel like we have a, we got a maybe an autograph, maybe. Um, I could not hit his chrome for his Bowman. And I just, I kept opening and opening more and more boxes. Um, so I'm kind of cursed with the Dominguez. It's like the one guy I want to collect. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any more? See, my goal, I want to hit two. I want to hit two. Jason Dominguez is here. The cards are getting a little more, uh, a little harder to sift through here. Okay. What do we have? This this could be an autograph. I don't know. It's Nope, Celebration of the Kid. Shoot. wonder if I have that one. That's a cool one, though. Like that. There we go. We got a chrome. Ellie De La Cruz, 
We got a rainbow foil, so this got a lot of stuff in this one. Corbin Carroll there. Neil Bard, Trent Grisham. So we're not, not getting too lucky on the yellows, but that's okay. Christopher Morrell. Flip these around. Got a Shohei, Bobby Witt. Uh, probably my least favorite insert. Oh, do, I did hear they have some pretty cool uh, low-numbered parallel autographs of that one. So, Luciano. So, all right, not bad. Not, not a bad pack, but these are probably the two best cards out there. So, not terrible. I'll sleeve this one up. It's an Ellie. So. We haven't really lived up to that first box, but it's kind of what I predicted. <laughs> um, after after doing so well, then I'm like, all right, that means the next ones are gonna be terrible. What's the? Uh, I wonder what that mic trial goes for. I wonder if it's gradable. I know those are tough grades, but <laughs> all right, let's see if I can open this a little better. a little better. All right, can we get any numbered parallels out of this? I will say we do at least have a yellow solder storm there, so not a bad hit. All right. Give me a Dominguez. Give me an Ellie in the base here. Nothing. Not seeing a whole lot. Got a vintage stock of that guy. Ooh, we got a relic, George Springer. Uh, not a Springer fan, so. All right, we got a Chris Bryant, and do we have a good yellow? No, we don't. And a Clayton Kershaw. So kind of a, kind of some awful couple boxes going on here. A trout. We got a Mookie on there. Can we get? Can get at least one of the good good rookies here. Nope. But we did get a bat. At least it's a bat relic. But uh, not a Springer fan. I'm a Yankee fan, so you can probably guess why. Um, but overall, guys, I thought we did a really really good job here. I I finally this is it. This is it. My first Jason Mingas rookie card ever pulled right here. <laughs> History has been made. Um, did get a Topps Chrome Ellie is nice we got a nice rainbow foil future stars ride the green that's a good one uh insert ellie didn't hit any of his base but um a couple yellows so we got a nice yellow foil which is a little more rare hit matt olson and then probably our best rookie pole parallel right here tyler soderstrom yellow and then hit of the break right here mike trout home field advantage man that's a cool card that is a sweet card Maybe we can grade that one. We'll see. But, uh, no, thanks for joining us here. I got one more video I'm going to do. I got four more boxes um, of Series 1 hangers. And then, uh, yeah, and then it'll probably be Bowman be the next series to come out. But uh, please like and subscribe if you guys like the content. We're on the road to 100 subscribers. I only need five more to get there. So uh, if you could help me out, see you guys in the next video.